Hey, it's Anna. Welcome back to Mirror Mirror. And if you're new here, hi. I'm an independent music artist. I write, record and produce my own music. And I also film three videos a week on YouTube. And this series is all about relationships, which literally is everything that life is, to be honest. And in a previous video, I spoke about trauma bonds and was it toxic relationships, I called it? I think it was toxic relationships, but anyway, it was all about like trauma and things like that. And for this video, I'm going to talk about how our relationships, like, yeah. And for this video, I'm going to talk about how we actually end up in karmic cycles where we attract the same types of situations with different people. And I feel like that really can relate to being stuck in trauma bonds with like specific people because we can end up in multiple trauma bonds with multiple people, especially if we don't heal ourselves, which is essentially the key to everything. So when we are in karmic cycles, what it really means is that the lesson is repeating itself over and over again. Because as we know, our world is our mirror, like everything that we experience, everything in our reality, every person in our reality is revealing something about ourselves. And when we end up in karmic cycles, what it means is that the thing that it's revealing, the thing that that first relationship or that first like breakup or situation, whatever happened, that first time you experienced it, the lesson wasn't integrated. So that then means that when you get into the next relationship, you literally carry that same lesson or that same wound or same issue into the next one. And so you attract people that are, I repeat, like they're literally the same lesson again, you'll attract similar types of people and then you'll go into those relationships and you'll experience a similar type of situation because it's still the same lesson where you haven't integrated it, you haven't learned that lesson and um, shifted aspects of yourself in order to elevate and integrate whatever it is that is being reflected to you. So with myself, I'm going to use myself as a wonderful example and read my life. But basically, I was very codependent, especially when I was a teenager. Like, I was extremely codependent. And so I kept getting in relationships where I could be codependent because I wasn't learning the lesson of how to stand on my own two feet. So I kept getting in, like, repeats of the same type of person, the same type of relationship where I continued to be codependent. And that lesson escalated and escalated and I then got into like a horrific toxic um, relationship and it was literally revealing to me that same wound, that same um, yeah wound trauma, that same kind of like thing or issue within myself that I hadn't healed, I hadn't integrated so I just kept attracting similar situations of codependency or where I couldn't be codependent and I literally felt like I was drowning you know and we oftentimes get into such karmic cycles continuously. It's a bit like when a relationship ends and then you jump straight into another one. It's that kind of thing where you just continuously repeat the same cycle because we haven't learned the lesson. And who really wants to learn the lessons? I mean, they're not always fun. They're not always easy. So obviously it's gonna be extremely difficult and it's much easier to just keep going keep finding these new people, keep clinging to the next person and the next person, but that is not going to bring happiness or joy or fulfilment or anything positive because we're not healing our own wounds. So yeah, karmic cycles are basically where you just keep on repeating the same toxic relationship just with a new person but it's a similar type of toxicity over and over and over again and the only way to break that cycle is to really look at yourself and why you're drawn to these types of people why you keep wanting to get into these relationships with them like what is it about them what do they do how do they treat you and really uncover all of these things so then you can learn what it is about yourself that feels drawn to them because when I say lesson it kind of sounds a bit silly like what is this a school <laughs> 
which it kind of is. But what do, what I mean by a lesson is the mirror. Like the mirror is the lesson. The mirror is showing you a part of yourself that needs healing, needs loving, needs accepting, needs elevating, needs changing, transforming. Like that's the lesson. So for me, I was getting in all of these relationships. The lesson was codependency. That's what they were showing me. They were showing me that I was codependent. And when I look deeper into that wound of codependency, I discover a lack of self-esteem, a lack of standing in my power, uh, people pleasing. Like there's so many things that can be peeled back beneath the surface of this one lesson of codependency. So when you look for what the lesson is, you're able to break the karmic cycle because now you know, okay, my lesson is codependency. Why do I keep being drawn to people and keep wanting to cling to people and be codependent? Why do I feel this way? And then you can start looking deeper into it of what leads you to behave that way and like where that stems from what what in my childhood what in my like any of my previous years what in my memories has um played out that way in what which memory do I behave this way where are the patterns and all of this kind of stuff and you just have to like it's so much inner work to be honest so you have to keep tracing it backwards and backwards and visualizing going back into memories and things I mean it is a lot of work but at the same time once you start doing it it transforms your life it transforms your life in so many ways that it almost becomes second nature to pay attention to these things and be aware of these things. So I can meet somebody and instantly see what it is they're revealing to me about myself just because I've practiced doing it. So the more that you do it, the easier it becomes and it won't always be so difficult and there won't always be so much resistance to you wanting to do it. You'll start to actually want to do it and be like, okay, next lesson where's the next one you know because it's just like it's allowing you to elevate parts of yourself so it becomes kind of almost fun in a weird kind of way you know but yeah so anyway karmic relationships this is how we get in these cycles and so shadow work is literally essential to break in those patterns and I think it's really important to even notice that you're in a karmic cycle like oftentimes we don't even realize that we're we're repeating the same shit over and over again so it's definitely important to look at all of your relationships and see where there's a pattern both your behavior and their behavior so that you can go and change it but also definitely check out my previous video on trauma bonds because you may also be experiencing that if you're watching this video then chances are you've experienced trauma bonds in some point in your life because so many of us for some weird reason always get in these shitty relationships I don't know what is wrong with us <laughs> but you know a lot of brainwashing in these films and all of this kind of stuff and a lot of um like toxic societal standards and stuff like that so there's many reasons why it's happened and it's not necessarily our fault but the fact that we're aware of it means we can change it and we can elevate ourselves and therefore elevate our lives and our connections and the people that we tra attract and are a vibratory match to so yes it's not permanent it's something that you can completely change and remove but you have to become aware of it first and aware of the lesson and then do the work to heal that wound and then watch your life change so thank you so much for watching i really hope that this helped you definitely leave a comment down below if you have anything else that you want me to touch on or any questions about this video but you can also dm me or text me all of my details will be in the description box below as well as links to my music don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already because i upload three times a week and i really really appreciate you thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye oh yeah think you like me yeah i'm icy cooling in that white tea oh yeah think you like me yeah i'm icy cooling in that white tea Oh, yeah, I think you might I'm the thing you like, be my range all white Oh, yeah, I think you might I'm the thing you like, be my range all white